The thing about Zoro is I think that he's never showed his full potential until he fought King in the New World. Um, every New World fight, it's been easy work. Hody Jones smoked him in his natural habitat. You beat a fish man in water. Him, Himothy type shit. Um, Caesar, that's a tricky one. I don't really, I don't really know about that one. That's a tricky one because of the gas thing. So, um, you know, that's tough. Uh, Dofi, Dofi is tough too now, clearly. But at that time when he smoked Pika, I don't know if he could have beat Dofi. I think he could have fight Dofi. I think it would have been mid diff for Dofi. Would have been mid. I don't know. That's a tough one. Doflamingo is tough. Uh, who's after Dofi? Uh, Katakuri. Uh, that's tough. I don't know if Zoro could have beat Cat either. I don't know if he could have beat Katakuri. I'm talking about before like advanced. I mean, uh, before Conqueror's Hockey kicked in, because we've seen hints. I think I believe we see hints in the series. So yeah, we went to one after uh, Katakuri and shit, right? And then Kaido. No, no way in hell. No. No, even with Conquerors, nope, 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 no. There's a debate. Well, it's not a debate, but there's, there's, you can question Luffy beating Kaido. I mean, he did admit that he lost, but like Kaido's holding up an island. He went through like so many other fights before this. Like Kaido had like, tch, oh, Kaido was different, boy. So I, honestly, Kaido's like, that's a tricky one too. So yeah, man, but. I don't wish none of y'all time. That's my little spiel on Zoro. I just believe he never showed his full potential until his king fight. So we really don't know what he could what he was capable of. Um, so yeah, but let's get into it. What if Zoro fought all of Luffy's opponents? Oh, look at this exactly W editing. Talk about oh, I forgot about Crocodile. Oh no, 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 I was talking about New World stuff. My bad. Let me like shut up. It was sort of a little confusion in the last video I did like this. So what we're discussing is at the time that Luffy fought each and every one of his opponents. Okay. Imagine Luffy was switched out and Zoro was. Okay, so at the time, so Zoro versus Crocodile in Arabasta. So Arabasta Zoro that well, struggle with Mr. One. If that's the case, oh yeah. And of course, small, we're gonna take small, everything small. into account. You know, each side's strengths small, and weaknesses small. to try to assess how these matches will go if they actually happen in the story. So let's take things from the top with Luffy's first official opponent, which was okay. Alvita. Now, right, right. when Alvita attacked Luffy, he tanked her mace like it was nothing, like it was a blunt attack almost. Although okay. her mace had spikes, it didn't really affect Luffy at all, and he just absorbed the contact. So maybe this was because she was too Zoro's not losing to Alvita, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not trying to hit a spiel on Alvita. I ain't gonna lie. Next. Yeah, I'm not trying to hear a spiel on Alvita. I'm sorry, bro. W video, though. The biggest thing in this case, though, is the fact that sword attacks do not work on Buggy, or the sword attacks that Zoro was able to do at this time. He didn't have any way to damage Buggy. Any slice he attempted, so he definitely would have So he definitely would have lost his Buggy at this time, man. For the first time in these matchups, Zoro loses. Zoro loses the Buggy, okay. Captain Kuro, who is very, very Captain fast, Kuro. especially when he uses his he out of the He's stupid attack, fast. Which gives him insane speed to the point that it's hard to even see him. But the thing with Captain Kuro is he's very overconfident with his abilities and not very calculated. So over the course of his movements, he becomes predictable. And so in the middle of his out of the bag attack, Zoro would eventually be able to perceive him and then land a finishing blow with a three sword attack. And next we have Krieg and with Krieg, Damn, okay. he pack up Kuro, okay. and the fact that he used a lot of external weaponry to Don gain the Krieg. advantage on his opponents. During I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think Zoro loses the Don Krieg, I ain't gonna lie. Successfully defeat him despite the fight having a wound right on his side from Buggy. The way Luffy was able to defeat him out. And we see that Luffy was able to do this in his situation and he may not have to deal with this because he's an armed combatant. So that might be one advantage that he would have over Luffy in this case. And ultimately, no matter what the difficulty, he will come out on top and defeat Don Creek. And yeah, next, I think so we too. get to Arlong. Arlong, is a, is, Arlong is a very, very tricky one, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Very tricky. Because if he didn't have that, if he didn't get cut by Mihawk, he might be able Zoro to beat Arlong. I don't know now. After Zoro had defeated Hachi. And I don't the biggest know thing now. to take into account is the fact that Zoro was severely injured to the point that he was losing so much blood he still had that wound from mihawk he was able to fight through that wound and the blood loss to defeat hachi because hachi just wasn't on this level he was an absolute baby today. yeah there was no baby food hachi. honestly the greater purpose of this video is to see how zoro would fare at his best against his opponents that luffy faced you know since we're comparing their overall
overall abilities. And what stands out to me the most is the fear in Arlong's eyes when he saw how serious Zoro's wound mm -hmm. was and the fact that he was able to keep fighting and it was like, yo, is he human? Because of course, these were injuries that will kill a normal man. Not only were they serious enough that not only would another person not be able to stand, they would just be outright dead. So Arlong told himself, I have to kill this man at all costs. I can't let this man live because what can he do at full health? So that alone tells me that Zoro was more powerful and in normal circumstances would defeat Arlong. And so for that, I'm giving Zoro this dub over Arlong. And next we have okay, uh, looking at things. Is it a Lamicky dub? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I can't I don't know if it's a Lamicky dub or not. I ain't gonna lie. But I do agree. I do think Arlong Zoro would be Arlong high difficulty though. So yeah. It's through the lens I can't of even lie. I can't even cap, yo. Even win without the help of the others in formulating a plan to take down Mr. Three. They had to already be hostages for him to even win. Were it not for those wax candles, the entire crew may have perished to Mr. Three. So if we're comparing Mr. Three to Zoro in this case, number one, he I already forgot about Mr. Three. Trapped. So if he catches Zoro in a one on one, Mr. Island with the giant wax, I forgot all Zoro about this. Unable to escape because at this point, Zoro was unable to cut steel and his wax was as hard as steel. So taking that into account, Mr. Three wins this matchup. Okay. And Zoro loses the Mr. Three. Versus Crocodile. That's what I'm There's saying, y'all. Like it's, it's so it different. Any number of ways you can cook up a variety of circumstances and outcomes to give one side or the other the victory. Z On the surface, Z Zoro's not easy enough to say. Why doesn't Zoro just wet his blades and no. just defeat Crocodile? Just Didn't like have that. hockey at this it time. Absolutely no. not that easy. Especially Did not have hockey at this time. It's not like Zoro's because it was Luffy's rubberness that helped him do all of this. So all things considered, Zoro wouldn't have any advantages or anything that would give him a good enough chance. It's nothing nothing he could do could be, so he could be Crocodile. Nothing. Crocodile. All right, nothing. next we have Bellamy. And with Bellamy, he wasn't really all that much of a threat. Nah. His combat skill wasn't special at all. There was really I'm going Zoro. Zoro took a beating from I don't him like Bellamy. Quest, But if he was the one to fight Bellamy, just like Luffy, he would defeat him very quickly. Very easily. There would be very minimal effort involved, so it may I'm surprised be even count this as so Zoro uh, enemy. Takes this lie. matchup against. Bellamy. Yeah, he's getting okay, packed now up. Guy, Pia, and you know, Zoro's Zoro losing this too. And, and this one should be pretty obvious. Yeah, he lost. Zoro, Zoro's losing this too. Fact, Zoro actually already fought Enu, and he lost badly. Now, most people don't agree with me here, but I believe Zoro was the only one who could have defeated Mr. One in Alabasta. I think if Luffy faced Mr. One, Luffy would have lost. I think that's just a nightmare matchup for Luffy. And in this case similarly Luffy mm. being a rubber man was the only person on that island was the only I have one to think about it I don't know if I agree with and that and the thing but, with Eno uh, is he wasn't I see what he's saying kind now. of special skilled combatant or anything like Cause, that because I feel like Oda him. definitely makes it to where like certain enemies is for certain people in the show you see what I'm saying like uh Khalif, Khalifa Khalifa is that how you say your name whatever from CP9 like versus Nami put Khalifa versus Frankie Khalifa versus Zoro, Khalifa versus Sanji. That no, that just wouldn't work. That just wouldn't work because they just bullheaded and they just trying to go in, slash shit, kick shit. Um, Frankie just trying to shoot shit, and hers is like bubble, soap, whatever her power is, or something like that. Um, she can make what is it like? Can she like make mirages of herself or something like that? Or was that Nami doing it? I don't know. My bad. But you get the point. If y'all know it, if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, y'all get what I'm saying. So of course this matchup goes to Eno. Now we're getting into the Water Seven and these lobbies matchups, and the first one I want to talk about is Zoro versus Bluno. And this is at the time that Luffy defeated Bluno and Zoro's strength level at that time. Although Luffy used Gear Second, his power up to defeat Bluno, I think it might actually be debatable that Luffy even needed it to defeat Bluno. I'm not gonna lie, he, he was he was already. Was Smoking Bluno quickly, but before he even place, went into gear second. He may have still won, but it would have taken a mm -hmm. lot longer. But it in Zoro's case, I don't think he needs Ashura. I think he can defeat him with his base ability that he fought Kaku with. I Just think comparing so too. to Dora Key, you can tell there's a gargantuan gap in their strength level. Blaine's yeah. was 820 and Kaku's was 2200. Oh, course, that, yeah, Zoro was smoking strength, him. But with a gap that large, it can't be ignored. I don't think Blaine had anything in his arsenal to make up for it. On top nope. of that, that was only measuring Kaku's base strength. It didn't measure his Zoan strength, and Zoro was overpowering that Zoan strength. So if he was to face Blue, Bluno, he might treat him like fodder outright. So this mm -hmm. matchup goes to Zoro. Zoro. And yep. next we have Zoro versus Luchi. And this is a matchup I think Oof. even Luffy could have easily lost. He was on his last yeah. legs. And uh, the Zoro's losing this. At Usopp, the time, Zoro's losing to get this. Back up and He's getting he he made not surprised. Mm, yeah, he might get smoked. And got I don't in know. The head and defeated Luchi. There's a few things I want to too tough. Out, though. One of them that being the fact that Luffy was overusing Gear Second. And that might have attributed to his condition when he was on his last leg. Zoro would not be able to keep up. And as I mentioned earlier, I think Zoro can fight on that level or a similar power level as Luffy was when he was using Gear Second okay. without sacrificing so much of his body. But then you have to consider the attack power of Gear 3 and if 
if it surpasses Ashura and how much it surpasses Ashura. And right. then there's also the question of whether or not Luchi can withstand Ashura, and I think he can withstand it. I don't think he'll go without taking damage, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to put yeah, him Yeah, I don't think Zoro got one shot on fight yeah. through Zoro using this attack and keep going. Overall, I think this matchup is a lot closer than Luchi. people think. Although, I think it's one of those situations where everything had to go right, and Luffy almost lost to Luchi. So given all of that, I think it might be too difficult of a task for Zoro to overcome himself. So this matchup goes to Luchi. Of Luchi, course, now Rob, and we Gekko, have Moria. The Moria. It's another and tricky one, see? In this case... Zoro and his straw hats had to stall oars until Luffy got back. This Luffy was hundreds of times stronger, far surpassing anything the Straw Hats could do as a collective. 100%. That's because he had all these the shadows. shadows of skilled yep. combatants thrust into his body and mm -hmm. made him a completely different fighter himself. Was a so demon. It was a situation where Zoro had to take on these shadows to gain this new power to defeat Oars and Moria. I don't think he can do that. I don't think he has the ability to withstand all these shadows. Oh, well, he got to fight both? Damn. Oh, well, Luffy did fight both. Well, well, that was, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't like that. I don't like that. Look at he had to fight. Look what he had to do to fight him. his normal form. He was able to force out the thousands of shadows outside of Moria when he had gotten, you know, gigantic and everything. And this was only possible because Luffy's attacks are force-based. They apply immense physical pressure and a sword attack in this case wouldn't have done the same job. So all things considered, Zoro at Zoro's that time would have that. lost to Oars and Moria. And next we're moving on to the Summit War Saga and the first matchup that I want to touch on is Zoro versus the Boa Sisters. And with them, they were hockey That's tough fighters, too because they were hockey, they yeah. so much physically that a skilled physical fighter could overpower them. And that's what we saw with Luffy. Luffy mm. also had immense speed that he used against them. So you can imagine Zoro can take them down with something like a lion song. And yeah. I don't think the Boa Sisters had anything that would give Zoro a hard time. No. Maybe initially the observation hockey would throw him off, but I think that's something he can adapt to very quickly given his skill set. So yeah, naturally this matchup goes to Zoro. And then moving along the Summer War Saga, we move to Impel Down, and that's where Luffy fought the Minotaur. And I think initially Damn, Zoro we going in depth. Okay, shout like out to you, Luffy brother. Did, and he wouldn't put his all into attacking. But once he sees how good the endurance and recovery of this beast is he would understand what he has to do and he so was not losing to these still beasts man. down we move to a much more challenging matchup and that's L. versus black L. And to be quite honest i think zoro L. performed better than luffy did it don't matter L. because luffy is a devil fruit fighter L. blackbeard was able to immediately take advantage of this i'm sorry luffy off guard i don't even matter L. turning off his devil fruit to his surprise so zoro might be able to get off more attacks L. 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 They said Blackbeard gave Shanks that scar before before even having a devil fruit. All right. Mm -mm. He no, might sir. be able to do more damage. No, sorry, no, sir. Ski. It was just on a no. different level overall. He might be Blackbeard clumsy, smoking but he was Zora. a skilled fighter and someone who he put Zoro in the pack ace. like Ace. But then we also have to talk about Magellan, and Magellan was someone who was able to Magellan's beating Zoro too. And Luffy. And the thing about it is, I still think Zoro has an advantage, not a great enough advantage, but one that will allow him to get off more attacks and actually land them. And that's okay, his ability okay. to use air slashes. In the end, he will be overwhelmed just like with Blackbeard. Yeah, 100%. I think it will be. Slashes. There's Marine for next, but I don't want to spend too much time on that because there's too many overwhelming matches that Zoro couldn't overcome. Way too many. Aka Inu and Mihawk. No. Nope. The only people that I think Zoro would destroy himself are the Vice Admirals. Well, certain Vice Admirals, because I don't think he would have been able to defeat Smoker or anyone like that. But there were plenty oh, yeah, of people in Marine Force who just yeah. ran straight through with no issue. And with 100%. that, we've reached yep. the end of the pre-time skip matchups and the halfway point of this video, as a matter of fact. While we're here, I'd like to say if you've enjoyed this video so far, Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, subscribe to, the, to brother. the channel, and hit the bell for more videos like this. I'm also, for any matches you might agree or disagree with so far, feel free to comment your opinions on that down below. Look at this W editor, y'all. Add to that as well. So with all of that out of the way, let's move on to the post time skip. And the very first matchup is one that already happened, but it didn't have time to go the full distance. Zoro was able to fight Hody smoking Hody. Smoking Hody. Smoking Hody. Smoking Hody. He wasn't I'm able to that. hold his breath I'm long enough to put Hody down. He he was he was putting him in a pack. Fight in which he's able to use all his abilities. Zoro's winning him up against Hody. That boy beat him in his natural habitat. He is winning. A lot more drugs and got amped. I think Zoro would handle this very, very well. I think yep. the biggest issue, which becomes an issue a lot of the times in the series, is the fact that plot shackles were sort of holding back Luffy because he could have taken care of Hody very quickly if he used all of his abilities, like Gear Four. But yeah, Gear Luffy was bullshit. He saved up for Dressrosa. So if Zoro was the one to face Hody, can you imagine what a billion fold world would do to him if it did all that it did to yeah, Peter? Imagine that what it would do to Hody Jones <laughs> at this stage of the game. Boy, he might cut fish, man. I'll let it have. 
that boy. Now going on to Punk Hazard, we have Zoro versus Caesar, and with this one, Caesar, of course, is a very tricky opponent. Given Thank his you. Gas ability. His gas ability. Given the right yes. circumstances, he can kill very powerful opponents. He and can. He would otherwise yeah. be overmatched by. I think Zoro has the right tools to handle this sort of fighter, though. Number one, this is the post time skip. Although Caesar is a low gear, Zoro has arm and hockey, which yep. will help him deal with Caesar. Right. And on top of that, he has Dragon Twister, which I think would be a nice advantage to have. Over the gas, yeah. Not yep. only can he attack him with air slashes from a distance, Damn. he can also attack Caesar in a way that expels all of the gas that Damn, he boy. his body away from Zoro with arm and hockey coated on top of it. it. Might even get a little Alexa, tricky at some point, stop. but I think this is the matchup that Zoro is very well equipped for, so he will ultimately take down Caesar. Oh, now, he said he takes down Caesar. Caesar. That's where Luffy face has Okay, okay. okay. Not, now, this is where things get really interesting. Okay. We have Zoro versus Do Flamingo, and I feel like what I have to say on this matchup might be controversial to some people. Firstly, oh, I want to say I think there's many hints throughout the post time skip that show that Oda did not want Zoro going all out under any circumstances. Not at all. I yeah. feel like it's because of Ashura. I think Ashura was just far too powerful for Zoro to use at any point before Onigashima. And what never really made any sense was the fact that Sanji and Luffy were spamming their Annie's Lobby's power ups. Luffy was using gear second all the time, gear three. Sanji was using Diablo Jambe left and right, but not a single time did Zoro use Ashura. Not until he faced off not, against one not, of the top five strongest fighters in the mm -hmm. series. And that Kaido. was Kaido. Yep. Something that's up for debate is what sort of attack was Ashura. There's the case to be made that Ashura is a Conqueror's coded attack. Either way, it's a very powerful attack and much more powerful than any of the other attacks we saw before Onigashima. It was so powerful that it was able to permanently scar Kaido. By comparison, something like Gamma Knife was nothing more than a nuisance to Kaido. Look at Gamma Knife's portrayal on Dressrosa and it nearly killed Doflamingo. Had Doflamingo not had the devil fruit that he had, he may have very well been dead right then and there. But he did, and he was able to stitch back together his organs. What if it was Ashura? What if he had to withstand Zoro? I did attack? not think about that. I don't that. think he can. I think at that moment in time, oh, in Dress Rosa, if Zoro had gone all out, I didn't think about to use that. his ultimate attack and everything, he would have defeated Doflamingo. Really? I would have had Zoro running after Doflamingo, but he protected him with an admiral. That used to be a thing we made jokes about, but at this point in time, I feel like it was a very real thing that Oda was actually protecting Doflamingo from Zoro from the full skill of what he could do. You mm -hmm. might take this as me saying Zoro was stronger than Luffy. And if it comes down to it, we can go with that no problem. Absolutely. Bottom line, though, I think Zoro takes this matchup against Doflamingo at the time of Dressrosa. All right, now let's move away from okay. Dressrosa. And he got Zoro over Dofi. That's a that's a different one right there. Damn, that's different. I'm not there yet, but I hear him. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't even thinking about uh, Ashura. I'm not gonna guy. lie, bro. The first matchup that comes into mind is the one versus Cracker. Cracker? And of course, we're not Luffy gonna was include struggling Nami with Cracker this. Too. Even though she helped out Luffy, we're trying to assess Zoro's strength against Luffy's opponents, not Zoro's ability to team up with others against Luffy's opponents, because that just doesn't help I ain't gonna lie. The first and most important thing I don't thing think is I see Zoro losing to Cracker. This is one of those Cracker. matchups where people would probably go, do you really think Zoro can be somebody that Luffy needed help with? But that thinking is too one-dimensional. Not yeah, all yeah, fights yeah. are one-to-one. -one. And also, even if Zoro did have Gotta think of the she wouldn't variations. be able to help him how she helped Luffy. Zoro wouldn't be able to eat up all the biscuits like Luffy was able to. But that's no. okay because Zoro has his own strengths and his own ways of winning. Right, and right. in this matchup, I think he would be better prepared to handle Cracker just because of the type of fighter he is. I think One so weakness too. we saw yeah. that Luffy had in this fight is the fact that the moment he stretched out his arm too far, Cracker almost cut it clean. And that's a drawback of being an unarmed combatant, but it goes even further for Luffy because of how he stretches. Zoro having ranged attacks is an advantage, mm -hmm. but also it's an advantage that he can do attacks like Dragon Twister that can keep going mm -hmm. while Cannon he's buggy. attacking. How hard the biscuits are, it's one thing whether or not Zoro can cut them with his use of armament, but it's another thing for him to be able to just discard them entirely because we saw how wide of an area Dragon Twister could cover. Right. With that, he can just wipe out a whole bunch of them without even needing to necessarily damage them. And then okay, with the potency hey. of the attacks that he was using on Pika, he can take care of Cracker very quickly. I'm about to say, there's no way Cracker's is, taking that he snow is not fucking durable way. at all. He is a glass mm, cannon. No so attacks, especially bladed attacks, would be far more effective on him than they would be on people of his level. And this is because he has shied away from taking damage for so long that he didn't have a chance to build up his durability because the more damage you take, 
the better your durability becomes. And the fact that he was hiding behind those biscuit soldiers for so long, it just made his durability and endurance very, very bad. All right, in all, right. Zoro takes this one. I'm going Zoro over Cracker. Other fight in Hopi Kata, Kata, which Curry. Fight against Kata Curry. It's a and tough one. Straight from the jump, it's obvious Zoro wouldn't be as fast as Kata Curry. At this stage of the nope. game, post Dressrosa, nope. Zoro is inferior, but that doesn't mean he's going to lose for okay. one reason and one reason only. Luffy chose to overwhelm Cat with physical might, but he and Bruley alluded to the other option, which is to outlast Cat because eventually Future Sight runs out. And at that point, it becomes a oh, very see, I did different ball game. Cat became so dependent on Future Sight, he just minute. becomes a vastly inferior opponent without it. So what Zoro can do, he can outlast him until the Future Sight runs out, and then he can grind it out for the dub. Once Cat is no longer able to can he outlast Cat a Curry though? His loss begins to approach very quick. And just like Cracker, he has an issue that he has avoided direct attacks for so many years, so he hasn't had the chance to build up his endurance. That's why whenever uh, you know what? attacks, they looked very effective, even when Cat was able to get up armament hockey. And on the other hand, Zoro has versus a sword. he has high endurance, so he will without a doubt be able to last long enough for Cat's future side to run out and okay. for him to turn the tide of the game. So Zoro takes both matchups. Not gonna lie. Island. And now the final... Cracker? Yes, I'm with Zoro, 100%. Katakuri, I'm on the fence. I'm not gonna lie. I'm on the fence. Final matchup the fence. for this on video. Is Only because I know the swords will help more than Luffy's brute force punches, uh, but I don't know. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. See, now I'm just talking. Never mind. Fuck it. Zoro Never mind. versus Kaido. Never mind. One thing Zoro's I will losing. say is that this fight can get a lot closer than people realize. I, think I agree, Zoro's but Zoro's losing. Grow is very underrated. With that said, I think the biggest drawback for Zoro is the fact that at the time of Onigashima, if he used Enma too much, he would have died. And at the time, Enma was his only way to get acclimated with Conqueror's coding, so he had no other right. options other than Enma. So if Zoro tried it against Kaido, he would die one way or another. Because Luffy, with all the abilities that he gained, was the only one able to defeat Kaido at the time, especially Gear 5. He had a hockey bloom with Conqueror's coding, came back significantly stronger to the point that he split the skies with Kaido, but still got manhandled moments later. And in Zoro's case, even if we were to use his current version, now on Egghead, I don't think he's quite there yet to the level he can defeat Kaido. I think there's one more step until he gets to that tier. So all things considered, I think Zoro loses this final matchup. And he with does. that, we have reached the end of this video. Video. Damn, Thank okay. You so much Fire for video. Shout end. out to and the brother. Always, get um that was a W. I'm sure subscribing. Roy Nougat. Shout out to uh Roy Nougat. Please subscribe to him, man. Yo, that was a fire video. W editing, everything was on point. But yeah, I actually fuck with all this. Um, I glad we on the same page, kinda. Um, I do believe that, like I said, one piece is like matchups, like it's not like Oh, since this person be A, this person could be B. It's not like no Dragon Ball shit. Like, there's different variables for different people, I feel like. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like I said, put some respect on my boy Zoro, man. Hey, my guy got it now. Stop playing. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yo, hold down. Be easy. Peace.